what are some of your favorite breweries? Um, well, I think Southern Tier would be my favorite brewery. Uh, but they get bonus points for me because they're a New York brewery, and also I met a few of the guys that work there, and they were really nice. Um, local right here in the Albany area is Browns. Even though they're a small microbrewery, they make some great beers. I try to go there, like, once every other week or so. Um, who else? Well, I love Samuel Smith's out in England. Um... I, there's a lot of beers that I have that it's like only, you know, beers that I love like Schneider and Weinstefaner, but it's only I've had like one beer from that brewery. Um, I kind of dig Rogue out of Portland. I mean, I would, I, it's maybe a cliche to say, you know, a lot of San Diego breweries like Stone, uh, Due to Seal up in Canada, even though I've only had like three or four of the beers, Three Floyds, uh, and of course Founders. I think Founders... Founders is probably my f favorite or second favorite of all time brewery because everything they make I love. Southern Tier gets a an edge on them for the reasons I said before though. But Southern Tier, Founders, everybody else. Do you think of yourself as a beer snob? No, I mean the whole point of my show, my website, my approach to beer in general is like I kind of. I like to think I coined the phrase craft beer enthusiast. Like, you know, I call myself amateur connoisseur of like, you know, connoisseur meaning like somebody who appreciates the nuances and details and intricacies, but like isn't like a certified expert like a BJCP or Cicerone or anything or, you know, a brewer. Um, I, I find myself doing some kind of snobby thing sometimes that, um, like, I hate it myself when I do it. Like, I got an argument recently with somebody online because uh, they were reviewing, like, a 18% Imperial Stout and they poured it into a wheat beer glass. And I was just like, oh, dude, what are you doing? You don't you don't pour it, that beer into that glass, you know? And it, it, I, just, I, I mean, I felt self-righteous at the time. And as I, as I look back at it now, I'm just like, well, I mean, what was the point of that argument if... If somebody's a noob, it's like you gotta kind of let them be a noob. And I mean, I still consider myself a noob in general because I'm not, you know, can't tell you about high alpha acids and how, like, name like 50 different hot varieties and what flavor you'd get from each one, you know? So, um, any other snobby things? I don't really, you know, like if somebody drinks fizzy little beer, I always try to, like, you know, coax them into other things, like, you know, hey, if you like, you know, but like try Sam Adams light and then try regular Sam Adams and you know try to show people they're like like so many people that I you know if they want if they want to drink beer just for the drinkability is like they've never even heard of or know about like a German wheat beer like how smooth and tasty and refreshing those beers are as compared to a Coors Light or, or a Miller Light or something like that so um you know, I I try not I try to keep the snobbiness as minimal as possible, but I do catch myself indulging in it every once in a while, and I always kick myself after the fact. I see that you've done more than just craft beer on your channel. Like you've done like Bud Light Lime and yeah. stuff like that. Uh, and the are Chilada. those yeah? Are those um are, are those more funny or do you genuinely review them? No, it is a real, genuine, serious review. As much as I review anything else, it's because I, you know, I, as much, I'm not a fan of BMC corporations or their beers, but you know, I still think everybody deserves it a fair shot. Because you know, something will surprise you. Like specifically with the Bud Light Lime, I was drinking it. And I'm like, this isn't horrible. It just drinks like lime soda, and like even I did like Keystone Light like two summers ago, and it wasn't again. It wasn't horrible. It was just so bland. I was like, this is inoffensive, but it's just so bland and watery, I don't, I don't get it. Um, but like, if we can have fun with those kinds of reviews, especially if Henry's here, you know, then that that's so much the better, like when we did the Mountain Brew Beer Ice last fall, it just, it, it, if we can be funny and review a bad beer, as of, you know, if that comes with it, that's great, but we don't, I've never reviewed something like, I'm just going to review this beer just to rip it you kind of you mentioned it a little bit but are you anti like bmc huge corporation beers or are you are they just an unnecessary evil you know like i don't really buy 
their products um, and they've done those companies have done like a lot of shady things behind the scenes and of bullying small corporations but you know actually it, it, I've seen even microbreweries fighting with each other so uh, you know as far as like the actual beers themselves if somebody drinks that stuff it's fine but I think anybody can be coaxed into drinking something better unless they're homeless or an alcoholic or something you know uh, I know, like, Budweiser and Anheuser-Busch and, you know, Miller and Coors, they all try to make more of these craft beers. Um, yeah. If, 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 if they started making more, like, you know, craft, flavorful beers, would you buy them or would you, would you avoid them just because they're, you know, they're big corporation beers? You know, I might buy, like, a, like they actually have, like, a Michelob mix pack or a Blue Moon mix pack. I might buy one of those mix packs and like give it to my dad if I was going to my parents' house, so like I could tolerate those. And I, there might be one in there like that is I might actually give a thumbs up too. But um, you know I wouldn't buy those to keep in my fridge. I mean it has to be like something really really special. Like oh my god I can't believe this is a BMC beer that I like. But you know um, like way back in the day when I was first getting into real beer, I used to love well not love I used to really like Blue Moon. I was like it's orange flavored beer. And if I drink it today, I'm like, it just tastes like Coors Light with orange tang mix added to it, you know? If you were, like, out and about, like, at a party or something like that, and someone handed you a Natty Light or, like, a Milwaukee's Best, uh, are you the type of person that would turn it down, or would you would you drink it just because that's that's all that's available? Um, it kind of, it, it would depend on the situation, you know, um... If, depending how thirsty I was, you know, like I, I would have like at least I could have one. I could drink one of like anything really, but I wouldn't. If that if, if the goal was hey let's party all night and get wasted, it's like I'm not gonna be able to get past one or two cans of this stuff. If if that was the case, like I'd probably bring my own beer, or that's when I would start drinking. Like if they had if they had liquor there and I start doing you know Jack and Coke or things like that or. Mike's Hard Lemonade or Smirnoff Ice, I'd, I'd drink that over Bud Light, Natty Light, any day. Mm -hmm. Which is funny because the people who are drinking Natty Light would probably laugh at you for drinking the, the yeah. Mike's Hard or the, yeah. <laughs> the Smirnoff At least Ice. that stuff has flavor to it, you know? Yeah. Um, what do you think about, like, the craft beer industry? Do you think, uh, you know, do you think they'll ever make it past, you know, that 10% that mark that they can't seem to get past, or what? Um, I hope so. I think so. You know, kind of have my fingers crossed for a miracle that the big companies will implode, but, uh, you know, I, I, I definitely see... It, I haven't really studied the industry that much, so I'm not really an expert on, like, when it comes to the actual, like, economic side of it, but from what I understand is the... The overall, like, if the, the pie of the beer industry, like, has gotten smaller, but the actual wedge of the craft beer is is getting bigger. So, like, craft beer is definitely definitely expanding. Um, I don't I don't really understand why beer sales in general are down because it, it's actually when the economy goes bad, actually, liquor and beer sales and all the uh, vices and and the uh, luxury products things tend to go up you know because people will always want that kind of stuff but uh yeah i do i do see craft beer definitely getting bigger at, at the very least it's going to become way more stable um because like everywhere you go now like you see like decent beer on the menu you know like i was at tgi fridays like a week or two ago and they made it such a point on the menu saying look we have harpoon ipa it was four bucks for you know a pint on draft and i was like yeah not that I'm a huge fan of that beer, but, you know, four bucks for Harpoon IPA versus, you know, a Blue Moon or a Bex or something, you know, I'll take that. And, uh, you know, I've seen, like, even, like, regular, like, sports bars and, you know, mom-and-pop type restaurants, like, they're having, they're at least getting, like, an IPA on tap or, like, a, I may mean, not a Guinness, but, like, like a local, you know, we have quite a few breweries in this area, they might have a local beer on tap or you might even see like a Belgian beer on tap well uh, that pretty much wraps it up for the interview um, 
Chad, if if, if you want to kind of uh, tell people where they can go see your stuff. Yeah, well, it's Chad's with a Z, beerreviews.com. It's also Chad's Beer Reviews on YouTube. And my other channel is Chad N76 on YouTube. That's where I do all the energy drinks, soda, snap, all that stuff, and just other beer related vlogs that's not beer reviews. Twitter at Chad N76. Facebook.com slash Chad's Beer Reviews is the fan page. And uh, uh, chances are, if you're watching this, then you already know about Chad, but you know, <laughs> keep watching it. <laughs> yeah. But uh, you know, thank you very much, Chad, for, for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. And we will see you next time. Yep. See ya. Yeah, see ya. Bye.